nucleophilic substitution of halogenoalkanes, again more commonly known as alkyl halides, is the process when you have an alkyl halide or halogenoalkane, such as uh, bromomethane there, um, that reacts with a nucleophile. Now why does this work? So you can see the carbon-bromine bond would be fairly polar towards the bromine end, so bromine is going to be a delta negative, slightly negative, whereas the carbon is slightly positive. Okay, so if a stronger nucleophile is present, it will react and attack the carbon center. Okay, so now what's a nucleophile? A nucleophile is a molecule, atom, ion, a species of some sort that seeks positive charge, okay, like that found at a nucleus. All right, or in this case, just a slightly positive carbon center. Okay, so what happens is, if there's something, uh, something present, let's say like sodium hydroxide, the hydroxide ion is our standard nucleophile that we'll work with, and it will basically substitute in place of the bromine shown there. So let's just have a look at this. So here's bromomethane plus the OH negative ion, right? The OH reacts with the carbon, and we see the, we would represent the arrows moving off the uh, carbon-bromine bond, just directly onto the bromine. This will produce methanol and the bromide ion. Now, these curved arrows that I'm showing here represent the movement of electrons. The reality is they are not required for the SL course. They're not part of the mechanistic, uh, or mechanistic studies are not part of SL. Uh, so if you're writing the SL exam, you don't need to worry about this. All right, so just what you need, a halogenoalkane plus the hydroxide ion uh, will make an alcohol plus a halide.